I am making a guillotine gate for my for the end of my sheep shoot that I made out of pallets. I showed you that. Um, and what I'm using here is some U channel that I had. Maybe that's a better shot. It's got a groove in it. It's just a kind of kind of like a U with uh, some flares uh, on the side. And I'm going to make a guillotine gate that slides up and down. This is the gate. Uh, and it's from an old wrought iron um, uh, uh, porch railing, I guess you'd call it. And I'll show you that right now. Here's the old uh, railing. This is obviously going like you're going up a step. And then the part that I took off of the head gate came up like this, so it did a, a Z pattern. And I take, took that part off right there, and that's going to be my, uh, my uh, guillotine gate. So what I've done, and what these are is uh, kind of hard to explain. Uh, th these were on my original garage door. If the garage door was closed, had come down, and you're looking at it like that, these would have been uh, vertical like this because it was a real heavy garage door. It was a wooden garage door. And the garage door would come up like this and sit. Well, those panels with 18 foot garage door, those panels would sag. It would, they would sag if they didn't have this U channel uh, bolted in them upright. In other words, the U part of it, this part of it was like this. Gave it a lot of strength holding it upright. I've used it before. Uh, one of my uh, sheep sheds has the uh, uh, the skids are made out of this and this is my last one I cut it in half gonna do gonna use this I had three of them so what I've done is I drilled a small hole inside uh, there and a large hole here so I could get my drill bit in there and I'm going to um, I have screwed the uh, uh, the the U-channel here with just some drywall screws. I've got six of these holes. Screw the U-channel to these tubefores, and this is just a temporary bracing to keep it square. Bottom is just a temporary bracing. I'll do something else with that. I'll uh, probably weld some metal in there for that, just to give it a, a good. Um, a good base a good solid base there so it won't uh, warp on me and get uh, get crossways if it starts to rack any you know if it's up here like this and it starts to rack any then that gate is not going to slide up and down in there very well so i've got to make sure before i put it in it's square and um, and make it right so anyway when i get up to this is a this is a two before when i get up to the pallets the edge of the pallet shoot like this i'll show you that i'll uh, i'll screw these uh, through here probably drill it first screw these through here use some screw three inch screws and screw this to this to the pallet the pallet will be behind it and uh, that will give it uh, some um, that should give it enough strength plus I will come in here on the side here and I'll put multiple screws through from this down into the pallet the upright of the pallet I'll, uh, I'll put multiple screws down there also so that should that should be plenty so what I'm doing right now I've cut this off uh, to 17 and a half inches, I think it is across here. I believe this is 18 and a quarter. 18 and a quarter. That's about what my shoot is. My shoot is 17. So, uh, and I wanted to use uh, use it as is, not have to weld much up. However, these are about five inches in between. Uh, maybe a little more than that and I'm gonna have trouble because a sheep can probably stick their head through there and then maybe couldn't get it out a, a, an adult sheep trying to get out trying to uh, you know pretty excited and and going forward stick their head in there maybe their ears get caught behind their ears and can't get out so uh, I'll put something here I hadn't decided if I'm gonna weld a piece of cattle panel here or whether I'm going to uh, uh, just get some more of these I've got some of those left on that deal over there and just get some of these and weld them uh, just weld an extra one in the middle of these three more 
So I'll do one or the other. But right now I've got to put some ears on these on the sides that will slip down in this channel and and uh, act as a guillotine, go up and down. Okay, so let me, uh, I've already got them cut off. They're about two inches long and I'll have to weld them to these ends here. Four, four places, top and bottom, just sticking out like this to go inside the guillotine. What I found was when I raised the gate up and down, uh, my drywall screw inside there was sticking out just enough because it's not going to bury very deep. It'll go deep into wood, but it won't go deep into metal. So the head of it is sticking out, you know, just, just a little bit because it's, it's got a, a, a tapered head on it. And it was hanging up, uh, going up and down. So I'll show you what I did. So since it was hitting, sliding up and down, I uh, tapered these, rounded them. I you know, made that kind of round and also tapered them down, ground off all the wells and just made it uh, taper down, not to a point, but tapered down quite a bit, uh, all four of them, and it slides up and down like crazy now. So here it is. Let me show you what I did. At the top, I welded on a little hook, had an old pulley, welded a T-post at the top, little piece of a T-post, crappy welding, don't talk about me, uh, to fill in these, wide gaps here i just got some 3 8 rebar i love rebar you know i love rebar welded it in there i've greased it you can see the grease in there uh it's heavy you know it's not an aluminum gate this is uh i'd say the gate weighs 20 pounds 25 so uh you know it's a lot for that little pulley and i may have to replace it and put a bigger pulley on it i may even have to or want to spring assist put some kind of spring from here up just to give it uh you know where I, where i can open it quick if i need to and uh, not have to really you know yank on it so right now i will uh straighten it up and uh run some screws in here which will go through the support two before which will go into the pallet this is my pallet uh chute so we're going through here through there into there three inch screws and uh then i'll i'll see how to sheep like it gotta get it tight so the gate won't hang on that screw looks pretty good so here it is installed um Again, the gate's pretty heavy. It's not aluminum. So, uh, you know, it's got a little, little weight to it. But that will let them out when they are in. Uh, that's about all I can say about it.